And hi again, folks. Welcome to my Shell Buzzy House Mart uh, coffee break. And uh, it is coffee time, isn't it? Yeah, you bet it is. But you know, today we're going to talk about a, a heated topic. I like a, a heated topic every now and again. Well, the heat's going to be possibly from Mother Nature, in your case, called the sun. Sun fades, sun gives you heat gain. We're going to talk about all of those things with a very, very nice lady. One uh, lady that I've known for a number of years, actually, and especially knowing her dad, and they've been involved with the House Smart Home Services for a number of years now. In fact, I think over 30 years. But her name is Leah Newcomb. Leah, how are you? Hi, sir. And welcome to the coffee break. It's just so nice to have daughters of the, uh, the parents that I, first of all, uh, was introduced to many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. And I think I can remember you running around mm -hmm. in the shop there at one time as well. Yeah. But folks, we're gonna talk about uh, solar and solar gain, but sun. And uh, I'd like to start out by, first of all, the name of the company is Nuco Products. And Nuco Products, uh, really part of the name Nucom, mm -hmm. products, there's many, many products that we're gonna talk about. And all of them will deal with the sun in one way or the other. How's that? Correct. Is this going to be just that easy? Just that easy. <laughs> you betcha. Well, let's talk about fading, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, fading is, as I relate to it, ultraviolet. Mm -hmm. But tell the folks what window films are about. Uh, do they go on the outside? Do they go on the inside? Uh, are they DIY? Just do it yourself. Uh, or what? Mm -hmm. The window films generally, 99% of them go on the interior. Um, usually you want to have it professionally installed, but you can do it yourself. Boy, I see a lot of poor installations mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. where people have tried it and got mm -hmm. air bubbles in it. Yeah, it's a knack and you really have to make sure you know what to do. Um, you have to really clean the windows well and not crease it, bubble it, anything like that. So right. it's really important to... But, you know, when you get uh, UV, and I just got some notes here that uh, were made, but uh, what about all this UV business? It, you hear people saying, well, you can cut it by 99%. Well, there's no way you can cut it by 99%. Mm -hmm. You do. Uh, the, all the films, whether they're clear or really reflective, will give 99% UV protection, but that is UV only. If you're trying to stop fading, UV is only 40% of the cause of fading. Mm, so that's so, the interpretation. Mm -hmm. Fading versus what it will reduce. Mm -hmm. So the 99%, yes, no matter, and no matter what, if it's dark in color or clear. clear. Yeah, yeah, you can have a clear film but still have fading because you're, because other contributing factors are heat and visible light. Right. Okay, so 25% heat, 25% visible light, and things like spotlights, pot lights, if you had painting on the wall and you had a spotlight painting or shining on it and it was hot, it could fade. It could fade. Yeah, it could wow. fade. Wow. Yeah. I'm learning things today, mm -hmm. and that's important for that's me good. to know that. Yeah. Now, when we talk about fading and different colors of uh, solar films, tell me, what is the, uh, when you say 40% fade, 99% UV, uh, clear or dark, uh, does that get the, uh, the homeowner that lives in a uh, condominium say on the 20th floor uh, facing uh, southwest, uh, can they put a clear film on that uh, glass on the inside that will give them that 40% of uh, protection? Uh, yeah, all the films will give that um, UV protection. You should reduce some heat though, and then that becomes an issue with your strata. The more heat you reject, then it does change the outward appearance. Right. So we have films that are uh, Sterling 60 that gives 43% um, heat rejection. And so you'll get a little bit of heat, but it's almost clear. So it usually isn't a problem with the strata, but I do recommend checking with your strata ahead of time. Very important. Uh, very important. Because um, when I get a phone call from mm -hmm. someone saying, uh, I've been asked to remove the films mm -hmm. and uh, that sort of thing, I'll, I'll ask, are you in a condominium? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, to the previous owner. They obviously were asked to remove. But that's the point that I'd like to get across in these mm -hmm. interviews that mm -hmm. you can have films that will give you protection, mm -hmm. but not necessarily is going to give you something that's going to cause any grief. Exactly. Now, 
What about the uh, the application where you see it looks like a mirror almost? Mm -hmm. Those would be a more reflective, usually commercial, not so much residential. Um, the reflective films will give up to 76% heat rejection. Wow. So you do get a lot. You get more glare reduction. Sometimes people will phone and say, I have a problem with the sun. I have UV um, issue and I don't have, uh, and it's too bright in the room. So sometimes they're not sure what it is that they're looking for. So the UV is the fading part of it the brightness is the glare and to reduce glare you really do need to reduce light so right. sometimes in a condo um, a film isn't the best option for glare reduction mm -hmm. because you'd have to go with something very reflective yeah and that would be again mm -hmm. a strata yeah uh, I, I would no, say no. negative yeah for yeah. sure yeah it will blatantly change the outside appearance and also what happens we usually use it for commercial because then you get daytime privacy people don't usually mind that but uh, in residential, you would have that daytime privacy. But at nighttime, when the light changes, when you have more light inside, now you have the mirror on the inside. I, I, I'm <coughs> laughing right now because <laughs> I, I got to relate back to um, a, a story that came our way on my radio program when I was doing radio. And what it was that the, the lady said, I'm next door to a home that has very reflective uh, film on their windows. And uh, during the daytime, but at night, you can't see it. Mm -hmm. And she says, the reason why I'm calling you, because I can't get my husband out of the house because he's uh, always staring over there, and I wish he'd put some clothes on. <laughs> yeah, that's a common problem. People don't realize that they think they're Privacy. outside during the day. They see they can't see in, so at nighttime, they think you can't see in, but you can see in clearly. Yeah, yeah, even People though it's... can see in, and from inside now, you can't see out. Yeah, so remember that, folks, that just because it's giving you that protection during the daytime with that mirror-like look, it disappears at night. So it might be a little embarrassing sometime when you meet your neighbors uh, on the street. But uh, heat rejection and... Uh, uh, what are one of the uh, more popular ones you see today in the residential applications? Um, Sterling 50 and Sterling 60. Uh, the Sterling 60 for UV protection generally because it's almost invisible. Sterling 50 gives us 57% heat rejection mm -hmm. and changes the outside appearance slightly but not too much. But it does give you that difference. If you were to stand in front of your glass um, patio door, when it's hot, it's hot, and right. sometimes people want the film to reduce temperature instantly, and, and it will reduce the temperature, but it just depends on where the heat gain's coming from. If you're on the 20th floor, it's going to be hotter than if you're on the first floor. Oh, absolutely. This would yeah. be the angle, I guess. Yeah, yeah. and also, I, I had a customer who called out, he had southwest windows, and he came home after work, it was a really hot summer, and opened his patio doors and windows, and he said, I sat down on my couch and I watched my temperature gauge rise because it just let all the heat in. So yeah. you definitely will feel a difference, but when it's hot, it's hot. So sometimes you have to layer. Sometimes right. an air conditioner is not enough, so you have to put film. Sometimes film isn't enough, so you may have to add a, a fan or roller shades or something like that. But all those items you have, like the roller shades and yeah. all the films, uh, all the and films. you're making reference to Sterling. I'm sure Sterling's like you got a broad range of mm -hmm. different uh, percentages, etc. That's why the professionals at Nuco, mm -hmm. and at Nuco now Nuco, you can buy Nuco products uh, elsewhere other than in, uh, say, Vancouver where we're uh, uh, situated. But across the country, you've got an 800 number. We give that number out, actually, folks. You want to write it down? It's one 663 four zero eight six. It'll be going across the bottom of your screen as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can actually. Uh, uh, enhance uh, discussion if they were to call you and you can make reference as to who is a representative of products uh, say in Alberta or whatever. Yeah we have dealers throughout BC into Alberta into Saskatchewan um, so they we do have people that we can that's refer great to. that's mm -hmm. great now that's getting into residential and commercial and uh, you know the Sun produces energy heat produces UV ultraviolet but what about security Mm -hmm. Security is, for our security films are generally clear. Um, and what happens is if somebody hits the window, the window is glass, it will break, but the film will help hold it in place. People continue to smash away, then they can eventually get through the glass. I recall with your dad, 
doing a mm. um, a session on my home uh, check TV program. Mm. Did he where, break the glass? Yeah, we broke the glass, yeah. but uh, the only way you'd ever get it out of there, you'd have to really cut it out or chop it out yeah. because it was really secure. Yeah. But what a what a comfort, especially as side lights on mm -hmm. on doors or mm -hmm. windows close to doorways or yeah. windows. Period, mm -hmm. uh, because it, you can't see it. Yeah. And it's but it's there for that security. Yeah. So security films, folks, is another mm -hmm. really good uh, product that you would um, sit back behind and say, hmm. I got not only do I have some protection, mm -hmm. but I also have heat protection and uh, UV protection. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you got the whole nine yards. You bet. What about frosted films? What about a window that you don't uh, want to see out and you want privacy? Yeah, we have frosted films um, that we can make a solid frost or we can do patterns, we can do stripes, designs, we can cut out, we can print on the films if you have um, a pattern or a picture. So wow. anything that's decorative, yeah. I'm going to have to get after your dad. I know he's retired now on the golf course and mm -hmm. uh, uh, up in the sunny Okanagan, my dad, folks. Mm -hmm. And Gary, if you're watching this, how do you do, m sir? But uh, solar shades. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about solar shades. Um, the, we got into the solar shades because film wasn't always an option. Sometimes the film couldn't solve a problem. So mm -hmm. we got into the shades to give people that option. So for a condo where you have a glare issue, Solar shades are great because to reduce glare, you have to reduce light. If you put a reflective film, that's not going to work. If you go with a solar shade that's giving you a 95 or 97 percent shading, then you're getting that glare reduction. You still see out. You get your view, so you're not closed in. You don't. If you have a beautiful view, the last thing you want to do is close it all up. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. But um, with the solar shades, you can see out during the day. Again, they do not give privacy at night. Right. Yeah, any product that you can see out during the day, people can see in at night. So yeah. It's just that easy. <laughs> it is just so that easy. Be aware, folks, that yeah. always deal with a professional, like Leah, for example, and all the folks that she has trained over her years, that uh, it's very important to understand the other side of the solar film business. And that's why they are professionals, because they'll take care of your problem and solve the problem and also give you the uh, the side of the story that in the event of, for example, wanting uh, privacy at night, you're not going to get it if you've got one of the highest rating uh, of the solar protection. So, uh, but you you can take these uh, blinds, if, for example, you can get into these rakes way up. And uh, uh, what about uh, power uh, type of? Uh, shades can you get them all powered up that you can push buttons and up they go and down they go you bet we um we can motorize our products they can be remote um, motors so that you don't have to hardwire them to a switch you can hardwire the motor um if you don't want to bring power up to the motor there's a cord that can a cable that can run down the wall mm -hmm. um, and then you can have a wall transmitter or a hand transmitter anywhere in the room um, phones you can now operate your shades with your phone mm -hmm. so you've got the ones that automatically will come down if you're not at home yeah if they got the uh the, what, get what, an what, app sensors for your and phone and then it's just a connection when it's installed and you can shades up shades down if you leave in the morning and it's raining and you have your shades up and you're at work and now it's sunshiny day, you can program them so that they can shut. Reminds me of another little story that happened very recently. I just took delivery of my new town and country uh, a Chrysler van oh. and I couldn't figure that doggone GPS out. So I phoned the dealer and I said, what am I doing wrong? He says, Shell, it's all set up. All you have to do is tell it where you're going. Mm -hmm. So I say, I want to go to 2320 uh, King George Boulevard. It automatically comes back and says, uh, 2320 King George Boulevard, Surrey, British Columbia. Bingo, it's all done. So hands-free mm -hmm. and hands-free mm -hmm. solar shades. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, the Nuco products, folks have got it all. And if you've got a heat problem, a uh, glare problem, a sun fade, UV, all of those problems, then Nuco are the people that you want to be talking to. And one last item, I know I can this read your minds out there that really bring a lot of discomfort into homes 
Skylights. Mm -hmm. We have a love-hate relationship with skylights. Mm, you sure? Uh, I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people want the light, but as soon as it's hot, they want to reduce down the heat gain coming through. So a few options. Um, if you're going to put film on the skylights, if they're a bubble, you can't. I just going to ask you, what about yeah. those bubbles? Yeah. The bubble ones don't stop anything. Yeah. I, I think all it stops is rain. Yeah. Oh, it's just if, for light. If you're lucky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's installed <laughs> you know, properly. Yeah. But, but you know, yeah. what do you do in those bubbles? I know what I would do. Mm -hmm. I would put on what's called the sun blocker. That's right. The sun blocker is the best. It's a product. It's the mesh material. It goes onto the outside with a bungee cord. It's a simple installation. Um, if the roof is unaccessible, we could do a fixed frame. Same material could go onto the inside. Um, or we could do a tension roller shade. So wow. there's different options inside, outside. Um, and the other point too about the weaves, another important um, fact is that if you go with a light color on the inside it's going to reflect the heat if you put a dark color it should go on the outside because the dark colors absorb the heat um, sometimes I'll go yeah. to people who have a dark sunshade on the inside and say these don't work they're not keeping out any heat and they don't the absorption or the heat rejection on a dark shade is maybe about six or seven percent wow. on a light shade you might get sixty percent heat wow. rejection so Dark colors on the outside, light colors on the inside. So the sun blocker, that's why they're dark. That's usually but you can still yeah. see through them. You can see still through see them. Still see them and get light through them. Yeah. But, you know, I remember your dad when he called me the first time on the sun blocker. Mm. He said, because I was doing the television show and the radio program at the time, and he said, Shell, I've got something that you've got to see. Mm. I've got to show you a product that you can put over a skylight, bubble or flat, mm. in two seconds really mm -hmm. basically is it that quick folks and he called it the sunblock I said Gary I gotta see it and uh, you'll see it being installed right now as we're talking here because that video I'm taking a clip off it and showing it mm -hmm. and they're available you can send them anywhere mm -hmm. all over we send them all throughout Canada and even into the United States and it's as easy as getting up on the roof Exactly. Just a bungee cord around the four corners. Be careful getting up on the roof, folks. Keep in mind, mm -hmm. it's not the fall that hurts. It's a sudden stop that <laughs> really does hurt. So, uh, yeah. But, you know, talking about uh, the entire uh, uh, solar solutions, I think you really got to relate to NUCO. And that's very easily spelled uh, NUCO, N-E-W-C-O, NUCO. And also their website, I'll give you that, it's nucosolarsolutions.ca. And that will be going across the bottom of your screen right now. But I want to take this opportunity to say to uh, Leah Newcomb, uh, thank you for coming out and giving us this rundown because so many people, again, I can't stop the educational end of mm -hmm. my business because the radio, the TV, people are not really got the time necessarily to watch it TV mm -hmm. or to talk on a telephone mm -hmm. or to visually in their mind see it whereas this way they can get it at their office because they're a member of my uh, Shell Buzzy House Smart Club and if you're not a member you're not watching this anyway because unless you happen to come on it but uh, tell your friends out there askshell.com that's my uh, website and you can go there and you can get all the YouTubes because this will eventually go on YouTube. But we featured first right on our home page. Leah, thank you so much for coming out. Say thank hi to your dad. I will. And I look forward to uh, a lot of folks getting in touch with you over the period. They never forget. Nope. It's just that easy. Just that easy. Thanks, folks. And we'll be back with more over the uh, weeks ahead. And we look forward to your participation. And anytime that you need help, just give us a call. 604-542-2236 or askshell.com and it is just that easy. Till next time, bye bye for now.